The overall goal of this procedure is to be able to record very stable and reproducible long-term potentiation in acute hippocampal slices. This is accomplished by first extracting the mouse brain and dissecting the hippocampus in cold ACSF under the microscope. The second step is to cut transverse hippocampal slices with a tissue chopper. Next, the slice is placed in the interface recording chamber, which will be perfused with oxygenated artificial cerebrospinal fluid. The final step is to place the electrodes and record the synaptic activity in the CA1 region of the hippocampus. Ultimately, a protocol of high-frequency stimulation is used to show the induction of a very stable long-term potentiation. How this method can provide insight into the mechanism underlying synaptic plasticity, it can also be applied to other systems such as animal models of neurodegenerative or nervous system autoimmune diseases. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because all the manipulations need great skill and a lot of practice. Begin this procedure by rinsing the perfusion circuit with distilled water for a minimum of 20 minutes. Then, turn on the heating systems. Start the carbogen bubbling in the circuit. The carbogen is delivered to the water bath below the recording chamber through air diffusers. Next, control the flow rate in the water bath by a flow meter. Afterward, drain the circuit and fill it up with filtered ACSF.